A genius program mandated by the federal government and another huge waste of your hard-earned money. Video of a diversity training class for government employees has just been made public. And to sum it up, it involves a diversity instructor, very liberal message, absolutely nothing that will help the USDA employees better serve you, the American people. Now, the training program, which costs you, the taxpayers, $200,000, was by no surprise kept a secret. But thanks to the Freedom of Information Act, we can now show some of the most outrageous clips. Watch this. I want you to say the pilgrims were illegal aliens. <laughs> say the pilgrims never gave their passport to the Indians. <laughs> By the way, I don't like the word minorities. How about emerging majorities? All right, here now with Reaction, Democratic strategist Erlena Maxwell and former Virginia GOP chairwoman Kate Obenshane. Um, what country did the pilgrims enter illegally? Well, they didn't have passports, and there were people already What's here. The name? What was the name of the country? The United States. But it wasn't called that then because Native Americans were already here. So it wasn't a country then? The country didn't exist? Well, I think that what he's trying to say is that he's trying to put it in historical context. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, Christopher Columbus didn't necessarily discover America. I'm right, sorry right. to break oh, it to you. Oh, good grief. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, let's just stay focused on hey, one I'm thing. Hey, I'm Native American. I, you know, well, Let's oil. stay focused on one thing at a time. There was no country. There were no laws. Nobody broke any law. Am I right? right? So what he's saying is a lie, and we're paying for them to lie. Right. Okay, and you know what? They had he had them chanting, "The uh, pilgrims were illegal aliens." Literally, that no, no, no. They were chanting this. No, my no, question is, yeah. my question is, what in the world does this have to do with serving the American people? And furthermore, Sean, we have laws on the books. Mm -hmm. If you are going to discriminate, if that was the point of this, if USDA is going to discriminate, you will be prosecuted. You have broken a law, and you will pay for it. You do not need sensitivity training this is a fed this is a fad it's happening on our college campuses it's called indoctrination why are we indoctrinating employees of the United States government I'm not here to say that the chant is appropriate I mean it was a little cheesy in my opinion but I do think that we, do, we need diversity training don't you uh, think it's we need why diversity, do we need diversity, diversity training, training? Because, 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 training. No, no we all no, need I don't we, know I do under, not we don't tell need, me what I need we all need to understand other people's perspectives I understand I'm a Christian I, think, I understand that we're all made in God's image and we're all God's Sean, children. Lot, what else do I need to learn? Well, I can tell you a lot about myself and my own upbringing, and you would be able to understand my, where I'm coming from. How about, we include, to how about we include the perspective of, say, conservative women in this diversity training? How about Christians? How about people with traditional approaches on college campuses? They are mocked, belittled, and derided. No, I could tell you some I've experience I've had, had, but I don't want to. I want to talk about things that are important. I want the United States government to serve the taxpayers, not to try to change people's perspective. No, but I don't think he's changing perspectives. One of the things That's that you trying to do. One of the things that you he's trying, no, no, he's no, trying he's to indoctrinate. To, no, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. That's when he talks about him. emerging majorities, he's just stating something that the 2010 census, okay. you know, what is discovered the as fact. Emerging majorities means go, that we're all going Kate? to need to understand. Really, I don't see what's the point of two hundred thousand dollars, and that was just two hundred thousand dollars for this particular company. It's happening all over the United States government, and you know what? Frankly, Sean, it's tearing us apart. It's turning people into victims. You know what they did? They mocked and belittled white men. They had this session where he made fun of them, where they felt like they were um, villains of some sort. But you know, well, we our got, president we, let me is put up doing on the this. screen. We've got this university in Wisconsin, and you've seen the the different mm -hmm. videos here, and it's unfair, unfair. that they were look at the putting this all over their face with the university's permission. Um, it's unfair that they were born a particular race. Now, I just believe as a Christian that every human being is equal. We are all made in the image of God. And I don't know what's fair or unfair. I, that's God's will, whatever, whatever people... You I'm know, also a he, Christian, and I, I agree, you with, agree you with me that everyone is created equal, but I not agree. everybody is treated equally. And so I think that what, what, what's the idea of putting it's unfair that they are a particular race? That's that's well, insane. Well, because a lot of times, a lot of people are like, "Well, I don't see race," but that's only when you are coming at it from the perspective of the default, which is right, white male word. patriarchal people, structure. You know what? People are allowed to think what they want. They're allowed to say what they want in most places, but they can't on college campuses where they actually have no. Free, actually no but listen agree. to me. Uh -uh. No, they have that, that they have free speech zone. No, excuse. Excuse me, they have free speech zones on college campuses. If you stand inside that, you right, may say Kate, what you want, you step outside and you're bound you get the by last speech code. Because we gotta take a break. Guys, good to see you both.